affirmations of the new skepticism. There are many skepticisms historically, universal skepticism, skepticism of ancient Greece and Rome. But in the modern world, a new form of skepticism has emerged. And it is the skepticism that PSYCOP, the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, and the Center for Inquiry attempts to defend. And what is that? The methods of critical inquiry used so effectively in science need to be extended to all areas of human interest. Beliefs should be treated as hypotheses and tested by evidence, logical, logical coherence, and experimental consequences. All claims to knowledge should be open to revision in the light of inquiry. As a result, there is a progressive growth of knowledge. Skeptical inquiry is essential for the development of human knowledge. It represents an historic tradition in science, philosophy, and learning. We must distinguish skeptical inquiry with emphasis on inquiry from classical skepticism, which is apt to be totally negative, even nihilistic. This form of skepticism I have called the new skepticism, for it is positive and constructive. Its principles are essential for the development of knowledge about nature and human behavior. Moreover, its method is relevant to the solution of ethical, political, and social problems. With these considerations in mind, a set of principles serve as guidelines for skeptical inquirers. We believe in the possibilities of discovering reliable knowledge. We affirm the positive powers of human intelligence. We believe that the methods of scientific inquiry can expand the frontiers of knowledge and that these can be used for the betterment of humankind. We submit that skepticism is an essential part of skeptical inquiry and that it should be extended to all areas of human endeavor, science, everyday life, law, religion, and the paranormal, economics, politics, ethics, and society, and that the standards of rationality apply to each area of human interest. We believe that critical thinking is inherent in all worthwhile inquiry about the world, and that it can be enlisted to solve problems, neutralize animosities, compromise hatred, and negotiate differences. We believe in clarity rather than obfuscation, lucidity in the place of confusion, linguistic definitions to overcome vagueness or ambiguity. We do not reject any claim to knowledge prior to inquiry. We insist, however, that claims be framed in testable form and that the burden of proof rests primarily with the party asserting the claim. We ask for facts, not suppositions, experimental evidence, not anecdotal hearsay or conjecture, logical inference and deduction, not faith nor intuition. We do not believe in absolute dogmas or creeds, whether set in stone or proclaimed as official doctrine. We reject mythologies of salvation, old or new, whether based in ancient fears or current messianic illusions, unsubstantiated by cooperative empirical grounds. We believe in inquiry rather than authority, reason in the place of tradition. We maintain that reason and science can be used to develop new technologies, alleviate suffering, and reduce pain, ameliorate and enhance human happiness. We submit that rational inquiry can help us to develop and test ethical principles, moral values, and social policies, and thus can contribute to human well-being. We are not negative skeptics. We are not naysayers, debunkers, cynics, or nihilists. 
We simply wish to oppose hypocrisy and cant, deception and illusion. We emphasize instead the tests of evidence and rationality. In short, we believe that critical inquiry is the best way to frame our means and fulfill our ends.